Barbecue. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I'm John with Simple Man's Barbecue. It's about 2 a.m. and we have 100 pounds of some cheap cuts of pork. I think some of it's pork butt and the rest is parts of pork shoulder. So we're gonna cook it up. Uh, we got a wedding and we're on a budget. So I'm gonna go ahead and season these guys and throw them on the pit and we'll get cooking. We're just gonna be using some Lowry's today, keeping it simple. So I'm going to a Halloween party slash wedding reception and the caterers got the plague so they canceled last minute and my buddy knows that I like smoked meats uh, so he asked me if I could help out. So he said he would buy the meat and drop it all off and all I have to do is cook it. He'd take care of all the sides and condiments and stuff. So that is why today we are cooking 100 pounds of pork butt and 100 and I think 20, 135 drumsticks. Unfortunately, uh, the pork butt is not bone in uh, and it's just a bunch of pieces of pork that someone cut up and threw in a box and froze. Uh, so it's going to be interesting uh, seeing how it shreds and how it tastes, um, but I'm looking forward to it. My 16 inch Horizon Ranger offset smoker is packed to the max. I don't think I could have fit any more pork on there. Um, it actually cooked really well. Uh, usually I have issues uh, in the main top stack getting the temperature to be 
close to the main chamber. Um, but with filling it full, uh, like I did, it was pretty even all the way through. Um, about, I put out the, I put the pork on at 2.30 a.m. ish. And at 10 a.m. I pulled it off, wrapped it, put a little Miller Lite in there with the tin foil, and then actually rotated uh, the pork. So what was on the top in the stack is now closest to the firebox. When I did that, I noticed that the pork closest to the firebox and all in the main chamber uh, was cooked really nicely and it's a perfect time to wrap. However, the pork in the stack um, was just a little raw still. So hopefully now wrapped in the tin foil with the rotation of the meats, um, it'll be cooked really nicely, which we'll see here pretty soon. Uh, the drumsticks, I threw all on in one go. They're stacked, it's about uh, three layers high. So I'm hoping that it's gonna cook nice and evenly. I'm sure the ones in the bottom are gonna be a little charred, but if there's no raw chicken, I'm sure everyone will be very happy. Um, so with the chicken, all I did is a nice little coat of extra virgin olive oil and then sprinkled some Lowry's on it. For the pork, uh, I did olive oil on that and Lowry's also. The reason why I'm just using Lowry's uh, and olive oil is I wanted it to be um, a seasoning that, you know, mostly everyone's going to like. Because, you know, there is a handful of people that do not like barbecue sauce. When I pull the pork, I'm also going to sprinkle a little more Lowry's on there and use some fennel, just a little bit, to give it that little bite, that nice little flavor. So hopefully that, that turns out good. If I could do this all over again, I would like to purchase the meat myself because uh, I'm sure as a lot of you know, cooking a whole bone-in pork shoulder or butt is a lot easier, uh, a lot more forgiving um, than just kind of slices of pork all thrown together. So the party starts at three. I started at 2 a.m. So I'm hoping and it's looking like everything's gonna be ready in time and turn out pretty good. So stay tuned.
Well, everything turned out fantastic. I was very worried, not only uh, loading my both my pits up so much full of meat, you know, worried about cooking everything evenly and the flow of air, obviously my offset, um, but also I was worried about the time. Uh, but here it is, it's about 2.30. They're coming to pick up the food now. Party's at three. Uh, we have ovens on site to keep the food warm so we can just pull off one tin at a time. Overall, it was definitely a success. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video.